See that empty space right there? You see that? That empty shelf. You know what's there? My Harry Potter Diagon Valley stuff in the box. Guess what we're doing today? We're taking it out of the box and we're going to redo the entire shelf. Let's start opening these. But before we start opening them, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button below. Just do it. Just go ahead. Smash it. You know you want to see more of the stuff. Also, comment below. Do you keep all your stuff in the box? Out of the box? Or are you a 50-50 person? I have became more, more and more a 50-50 person. As you can kind of see, things behind me are starting to creep out of the boxes. But also, also while you're at it, I got an idea. It's just a little secret between you and me. I'm almost at a thousand on TikTok. Let's get there. We have a trip coming up at the end of the year, and I would love to go live on TikTok for you guys. So get me to a thousand on TikTok and get me to a thousand here while you're at. Let's do this. Shiny013, just like my username here, and we're gonna have a good time over there. Let's let's keep doing this. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six Diagon Alley pieces sitting on the floor. Which means it's time to open them. So let's start opening one. So let's start with the first piece. Harry Potter. With Ilip's Owl Emporium. We gotta open it. We gotta make sure he gets on that shelf. Okay, let's... I don't wanna, like, destroy the box. So let's not destroy the box. Come on. You know, I've seen people, like... Like... Do, like... They're like, they're like wizards with these box openings. So let's open up some Harry. Harry Potter! So that when this was being in this in Target, this is a Target exclusive. Boom. When this was in Target, people were like, hey, watch out, the Harry Potters are getting are damaged easily. And I didn't know it until, well, I actually already bought it by plastic. So we have Harry Potter. This Harry Potter. Harry Potter looks really cool. And here's the Ilips Owl Emporium. That's pretty cool. Let's put Harry Potter on here. So he has a little peg, which is cool. Fancy, fancy. It's going up on that shelf. All right. I might have to, like, pause in between takes, but we'll figure it out when we go. All right. So that's one. Bye, box. I don't want to get pieces mixed up. Bye, box. Go away. All right. Um, what's the next one going with? Let's go with Ginny Weasley. Another Target exclusive with Flourish and Blots. Yep, 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 yep. She's coming out. She's coming out. Come on. You're a wizard, Harry. There we go. Off the bottom. Ginny opens from the bottom pretty easily. So let's get Ginny out of here. So, I don't know why I, like, I don't have any Harry Potter in my collection. But for some crazy reason, the moment I saw these, and it might be because me and the wife went to Universal last year, I went, I needed these in my collection. So, let's get Jeannie Weasley out of here. Okay, come on. She has plastic behind her, too. These are actually really cool. Go over there. So, here's Jeannie Weasley. She looks awesome. And here's the flower and blots front. We'll pop her on her little peg. Don't fall or break or anything crazy. And boom. She's cool. She's cool. She's cool. I just step on uh, plastic. I don't want to like damage the plastic pieces. Because I'm sure I might need them later for packaging and moving. All right. So there is Ginny Weasley. Weasley. With flower and blots. I'm cleaning up that. I'm kind of getting some, keeping things organized as I go. The next one. We got Ginny. We might as well go with Ron. Ron and quality Quidditch supplies. Boom. Another Target exclusive. You know, these boxes have seen, looks like they've seen better days. Which is fine. Which is another reason I kind of want to take it out of the box. Like, none of these boxes are in mint condition in the slightest. Um, I think I got a couple of these actually on clearance. I think I got Ron. I got Genie on clearance, I'm pretty sure. And I got um, 
green guys on clearance. I know I got green guys on clearance. Actually, I grabbed a couple. Got a couple green guys on clearance, which is funny because when they were on clearance, they on they were going for eBay prices of something ridiculous, like fifty bucks at a time or something like that. I don't know what they're going for now, but we need to take Ron Weasley out of the. He's coming out. He's coming out. He stands nicely by himself. Put that in there. And here we go. Quidditch supplies. These are actually really cool. I like these. Like kind of like the um, Star Trek one I have over there. That they need to be laid in or out of box. Ron. Ron looks cool. I, I'm like obsessing over these things. Alright. So I'm going to pause this video. Kind of clean up my mess. And then we'll get to the big three. Dumbledore, Gringotts, and Ollivander, because you know you want to. I'll be back. As you can see behind me, I have the three up. And surprisingly, these are the target shelves. The Ron and Jeannie fit side by side beautifully. So the smaller ones, you can fit two side by side like that. I haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to set it up yet, but that's a tentative setup right now. So I hope you guys enjoy where that's going. So where do we go now? We go with the next Target exclusive. So this is the last one. This is the Green Gods. Green Gods! So we're going to do him. Get him out of this box. Free him from his prison. And put him out. Um, this is... This, piece was, this one was actually hard for me to find. I don't know why I don't know why the Green Gods are so hard to find. Like he was super hard to find. And then once I found one, I found like like a few of them. But he was really hard to find. But he is awesome. Did you guys ride Green Gods Bank at Universal? It is such a good ride. Now, if you're like me and like six three, six four and kinda of tall, this ride may not suit you well, but this Green Gods so cool. So let's show the bank. So, do you not stand by yourself? You do, okay? A little plastic piece comes out. Boom. Yep. The Green God's a bank. This ride is awesome. I love this ride. I wish it was made for bigger people because the fact that it's made for small people kind of sucks. But this is an awesome piece. Look at that. Man. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love the Green God one. He's heavy. He's, that's a heavy piece. All right, so Green Gods is done and opened, and now where do we go now? Should we go with the Funko Funk Con exclusive Ollivander with Ollivander's wand shop? You did not go to Universal unless you stepped in Ollivander's wand shop. We had a blast in Ollivander's wand shop. We bought two wands. I got a one. My wife got a wand. She used her interactive wand a lot more than I did. But it was her first time in the wrestle, so I wanted her to have fun with it. And then she made fun of me for how I said I felt the wand was calling me. But anyway, it is what it is. Ollivander's wand shop. Let's open Ollivander. Okay, come on, Ollivander. You know you want to open. Da, 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 da. So I don't understand how people like magically can like, get these guys open with like no issues. Like I, I actually haven't had many issues today, but there are people can open his box. <laughs> Magic. I struggle. I haven't become a professional yet, but these have actually opened pretty easily. So let's open Ollivander. Uh, Ollivander. I have actually not actually looked at the Ollivander out of the box. Now the funny part about Ollivander is he doesn't have that plastic piece behind him, but he is removable. So let's show you Ollivander. What's his wand? That is, he is such an awesome piece. Alright, let's put Ollivander on his wand shop. This is wand shop. Boom. Ollivander is cool. And the wand shop looks great. This piece was the most expensive of the bunch. It was a $40 on Funko's website. And it took forever to go up. And I had to buy it. So, I knew this was coming out. I had all the Target ones. And I thought I was done. Until... They announced more. We have Dumbledore with the Hogsmeade in. 
I kind of want to start doing a couple different shelves these guys. But let's open Dumbledore. Come on, Dumbledore. You know you want to open up. So, I gotta figure out exactly how I'm gonna set these up. Dumbledore is a bigger piece. I, I got another one I should probably open too. Let's go, let's go. Let's open these up. And see what Dumbledore... Dumbledore is a big piece. And he looks awesome through the plastic. Let's get him out of here. Get out of your plastic prison, Dumbledore. There we go. Dumbledore is out of his plastic prison. And let's get Dumbledore out of his plastic prison. Here is the Dumbledore Pop. He is so awesome. Love it, love it, love it. Love it, love it. The extra plastic piece that they have. And then the hogs meet in. Boom. Really nice. Really nice. It's a bigger, much bigger, solid piece than the other ones. Let's pop him on. He has a bigger pole to sit on. And boom. Dumbledore. Look how awesome that looks. So, I've kept these in the boxes for a while. And I'm not going to lie. I'm actually glad I'm taking them out of the box. This Dumbledore is much bigger than Ollivander's. No, well, it's not much bigger, but it's like that much bigger. It's wider. And I think the new line is common pieces. Unless I'm missing something. But look, you remember that the Hogsmeade and sign printed. And it's crooked and everything. I absolutely love the Hogsmeade. And I'm not going to lie. I'm actually obsessed with all of these. So even Ollivander's wand shop. I don't know if you can see that. It has the O on the sign. I love these. I absolutely am obsessed with this, this whole line. I didn't think taking out of the box was a good idea, but these look great out of the box. Let's go put them on the shelf. And we'll be back. And I know the one was Hogsmeade, but for now it's sitting up there with Diagon Alley. But we will save the best one to open for last the Harry Potter world just recently lost him, too. We have Hagrid. Another Target exclusive. Rubus Hagrid was a leaky cauldron. So another piece of Diagon Alley said. Um, it's a bigger box. I hope he fits up there nicely. We'll figure it out. I'm about to do some rearranging with these things. But yeah. This is the last piece. Of the Diagon Alley. And then I gotta go by and finish off the Hogsmeade one. Because... Dude, I, I, yeah, I'm going to have to find more space. <laughs> I'm going to need another show for Hogsmeade, but let's open up Hagrid. Come on, Hagrid. Hagrid's a big, big monster piece. The fact that they package them separately. Let's open Hagrid up. Come on. Hagrid. So here's Hagrid. Oh, he is a monster piece. Look at that, look at that, look at all the details in Hagrid. Such a cool piece. He is huge! And the Leaky Cauldron. This is a restaurant actually in Universal, so I'm just letting you know. You can actually go and actually in the Leaky Cauldron if you, if you ever go to Diagon Alley in Harry Potter. But yeah, in Universal Studios. So let's put him on and complete the set. Come on, Hagrid. I mean, I know you are so big, you don't need your little podium. I'm having problems finding the hole. And <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> that's what he said. All right. Okay, he doesn't sit as well on his peg like the other one. I think because of his size. But he is huge! Yeah. Alright. So he doesn't sit as well in his little tiny, tiny piece. A 12 foot tall monster on that needs to be held up by a little peg that's like this big. So yeah. He doesn't sit as well on it. He's really, really wobbly. I don't even think he really needed it as I just dropped him on my keyboard. But yeah, he's on. He's on, but he doesn't sit well. He's kind of wobbly. So just keep that in mind if you have, if you open this piece up. Hagrid is super wobbly when it comes to the little peg, putting him on it. Just keep that in mind. So let's 
pause the video again, put them over there, see if I can get that arranged nicely, and I'll be back. And I'll show you. So since I'm using the webcam for my computer, that's about the best I can get you guys right now. I'll try to take a picture and put it in up here somewhere, or maybe near the end of this video, so you guys can see a better look at that. But that is what it looks like. Yep, I'm happy with that. Like the, I like the fact that Hagrid fit nicely around the middle. Anyway, so that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed my unboxing and display of the Harry Potter pieces. That looks really good. I like that. I like that a lot. I kind of want to put some lights in there so he glows. Maybe some sticky lights up top or something like that. That would be cool. Yeah. But that's awesome. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. And until next time, take it easy. Have a good one. Peace.